Hey everyone, I'm Alex Sanger. I'm one of the resident doctors at Kelowna General Hospital, training in emergency medicine. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you all sorts of stuff about the Seldinger technique. So we're going to talk about what the Seldinger technique is, why it's important, uh, and then I'm going to demonstrate all the tools used uh, on an ultrasound guided jugular central venous access. Hope you guys enjoy. So the Seldinger technique is really common and it's a really important skill to be able to learn uh, if you are uh, in a specialty that requires procedural skills. So it's used for things like central venous access, which is what we're going to be showing you today, but it's also used for percutaneous intervention in acute myocardial infarctions. It's used for endovascular therapy and stroke. Uh, it's used to access virtually any hollow organ, including the pleura for things like chest tubes. Um, and it's just this wonderful, wonderful uh, way of ensuring safe access to whatever you're trying to do. Let's have a look at the equipment for central venous access. So this procedure is done under sterile technique. So this kit actually comes with a gown as well as a sterile drape to cover up your patient. There's basically two really important things to the Seldinger technique, and that is a needle. It's actually quite a large needle that's very, as sort of a large hollow compartment in the middle. And the hollow compartment is used to put a wire through. And the wire comes in this rolled up tube that you can push the, the wire out of and pull it back. Let's have a look at these closer up so I can demonstrate how that works. Let's talk a little bit more about the equipment. This is the needle that you use for obtaining central venous access. You'll notice that it has quite a large hollow tip. This is the wire introducer. You'll notice that it has a tapered end and this fits into the needle, just like that. As the wire comes out, it has a bend in it and this is to reduce the risk of perforation or damage to the blood vessel or hollow organ that you're trying to uh, catheterize. So once your needle is in the right place, you press the wire introducer into the needle and you extend it and the wire will then come out of the needle on the other end. So I'll be using ultrasound guidance for this procedure because there is a risk of damage to the carotid, carotid artery, which as you can imagine, is kind of a big deal. Um, the purpose of this video is not to demonstrate uh, how to follow the needle using ultrasound, but I wanted to show you guys just for interest's sake. So first thing is to identify the vessel that we're interested in. You can see here there are two vessels the one on the left is the carotid artery, and the one on the right is the jugular. We'll be aiming for the jugular today. I position the ultrasound probe exactly in the middle of the vessel, and I enter with my needle. You can see the tip of the needle is in the vessel, and I'm withdrawing blood. I then hold the vessel in place, or sorry, hold the needle in place, and then I can thread my wire in. I can let go of everything and ensure that I am inside of the blood vessel, and I am. That looks great. Now, the most important thing is to not lose your blood vessel, in, or sorry, not lose your wire inside of your patient. So you need to hold the wire as you withdraw the needle. If you have lots of tail, the wire will not slip away into the patient, but it's important to be really cognizant of it because it's a really big deal if you make this mistake. Next, I use a dilator which we slide over top of the wire and into the patient. This is mostly for the subcutaneous structures. As the dilator comes out, 
And now we replace it with our central venous catheter or whatever kind of a catheter you need to put in your patient. In the case of a chest tube, this might be, you know, a pigtail chest tube or whatever. You'll notice that the wire comes out of the end of this tube. So I hold the wire in place and I don't move it and I don't let go of this wire as I advance this catheter into the patient's jugular. Once it's in place, I can remove the wire and I am guaranteed that this central venous catheter is inside of this patient's jugular vein. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully learned something. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, uh, please share this video online, show it to your friends, and uh, potentially I could keep doing this kind of stuff. Thanks so much.